afternoon and welcome to this edition to Michael's Backyard Marina. Today I'm doing a little testing. I'm, I want to aerate my pond. I got a little pond out back I want to keep some fish alive in. And what I've got here is a high blow pump that I purchased in an aerator system that I'm going to try. I'm doing a little test run here in the uh, kitchen sink. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, what I have here, I purchased a high blow pump. This is a septic pump designed to aerate septic systems. And it's designed to have as a continuous use. This one here happens to be a P, an HP 80 110. Let me get this on here for you so you can see it. Oh, yeah, right there. You can hear it running. It's pretty darn quiet. Right now, I've got a little meter here that runs through and tells you how much juice it draws. That's the annual usage. Let's see here. 16 cents a day, 1.17, a dollar 17 a week, five dollars and four cents a month, and 61.39 a year for this to run. And let's look at the. Uh, let's see here. That's at nine. 9.6 cents a kilowatt hour and let's see if I can get the menu here to show you the the draw so it's pulling 160, 116 volts right here it's pulling 1.43 amps and 71.5 watts that's pretty cool 60 hertz obviously let me show you this is a test in my sink I can get the light right here but it has just got a rolling boil going with that water in the sink. And I got a 10 inch diameter diffuser that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll put all the, the part numbers in the description in the link below. I've got 50 foot of weighted 3 8 inch uh, airline. So that should get me out of my pond far enough. The beauty of these things is they can sit outside. They're, they're not designed to sit in the water, weather, you know, but they could. But this one here, I'm going to put a little cover over it. But just take a look at that thing. That's going to boil some water. And that's only currently... I'm going to hold it down. Let's get some suction cups down there. But yeah, that's just, just rolling that water. So I'm excited to get that out of my pond and see what it does when they get it even deeper. And then bubbles are charging up to the top like that. So we'll report out on that in just a few minutes. Okay, we've got the aeration in the pond. As you can see, it's opened up a pretty big circle in all this duckweed I've got here. It's probably 10 foot in diameter or so, at least. But it's just boiling the water. It looks great. It's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. I could definitely see where I might want to. We'll start off with one and see how that goes. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helped you out with your pond aeration issues. Uh, appreciate you watching. Please tune in, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications when I load up new videos. I'm trying to do about one a week, maybe a couple more than that. We'll see. Uh, enjoy life. Have fun.